This is Tanks Vlog for August 31st, 2018, wrapping up the day in sports. We are brought to you by Allow Me To Be Frank, the weekly podcast I do with Brendan Tuma. It's, uh, we got a whole ride guest every week. We try to get someone interesting, and this week we had Jerry Thornton from Barstool Sports and author of the book, Five Rings about the Patriots dynasty. So listen on SoundCloud and iTunes. And of course, always look, if you haven't picked one in yet, get a nice shirt. It never hurts. Thursday was the kickoff of the first full week of college football. And it was, there wasn't many big games on Thursday. You didn't have the, the juicy matchups. As of yet, the juicy matchups will be coming this weekend. Uh, perhaps the most exciting game of the day might have been uh, Purdue uh, and uh, Northwestern. Uh, Northwestern built a big lead, but got shut down completely in the second half as the Boilermakers tried to come back, but then it just fell short. Final score, Northwestern 31, 27 winners in Purdue, winning a conference game to start the season. Uh, Central Florida, who would like to uh, claim a share of the national championship last year. They made rings, they got a banner, uh, and they started their defense of their alleged national championship in U- in Connecticut against UConn. And boy, they whipped up on the Huskies 56 to 17. As part of college football, we have our uh, my uh, feature, my six-pack picks. I pick six games. That segment's brought to you by uh, my bookie AG. If you want to get easy payouts, sign up now. Use promo code TANK. That's my weekly six-pack college picks. If you want to look them, check them out. Click the link below. I always, I always try to go for the biggest games for my six-pack picks. Uh, and of course, uh, I'm picking Notre Dame to beat Michigan. I uh, yeah, like Washington over Auburn. West Virginia over Tennessee. Alabama over Louisville. Miami to beat LSU. And Florida State over Virginia Tech. So check them out. See how I do. See if you could uh, go against me. That's my six pack picks, and they will be brought to you weekly by my bookie AJ. Turning to baseball, Mets are off on Thursday as they head to San Francisco for a West Coast trip late in the year. Meanwhile, the Yankees were home and once again went <laughs> against a team 30 games below 500. The Tigers are terrible. I mean, even, even, uh, I mean, I mean, it's, uh, you get Tony Tiger, he'll go, they suck! And the Yankees just continue, continue to play poor baseball against teams they should be killing. The, that was just the, the Tigers are 20 and 46 on the road, and they they got back to back home runs off Dylan Batances. I mean, Batances are that he'll blow the baseball game. He is not a good closer. Batances are the Yankees. We'll have another letdown. But Tigers beat the Yankees 8-7. to seven. And after the game, the Yankees made big news, agreeing to acquire Andrew McCutcheon from the San Francisco Giants. Now, I know McCutcheon hasn't had a great year in San Francisco, but the former, but the former All-Star could be a big boost for the Yankees, who... Aaron Judge doesn't look like he. Aaron Judge might miss the rest of the season. I mean, when's he coming back? We have no. He hasn't even started swinging a bat yet. This is a, and a, I think it's a very important deal by the Yankees. I mean, their offense has been stagnant, and 
Brett Gardner is just having a terrible year. So Andrew McCutcheon will be in pinstripes. Meanwhile, the Red Sox rallied to beat the White Sox, so they gained another gain on the Yankees. Uh, J.D. Martinez hit his 39th home run. See, this is the difference between the uh, Yankees and the uh, Red Sox. The Red Sox crush all these teams that suck. The Yankees play down to the level of opponent time and time and time again. I mean, the Yankees' the record against the Orioles before that four-game sweep was six and six. They only they, they split the four games with the Mets. They have a losing record against the Rays, but the Rays have actually have ended up doing pretty good. But they just lost two out of three to the White Sox. The Tigers they just lost to, and and, and they did. I don't understand how they play so poorly against these bad teams. They split the they split four games against the Marlins. These are teams that are more than ten games below five hundred that the Yankees can't beat. In a game with first place on the line, it was the Arizona Diamondbacks beating the Dodgers three to one. Meanwhile, the Rockies are locked, as I'm doing my vlog right here, are locked in an extra inning battle with the Padres. Yesterday, the Brewers and Reds played a slugfest, 13-12, with the Brewers winning in extra innings. Today went to extra innings as well, but the score was much less, with the Brewers winning 2-1 on a Lorenzo Keane home run in the 11th inning. Jason Kipnis three-run homer, was the key blast as the Indians beat the Twins 5-3. The Cardinals blanked the Pirates 5-0. It was the Cubs in a makeup game in Atlanta beating the Braves 5-4. The Angels stunned the Astros 5-2. And the Mariners facing desperation time. Need to go into Oakland. Need to take 3 out of 4 this weekend. Started the season, started the series in a good way, winning 7-1. to one. Today's three stars are Victor Martinez of the Tigers, who's game-tying homer off of Dylan Batances. Let more air out of the Bronx than uh, a, whole, a whole group of fans eating beans. Wade LeBlanc of the Mariners had three hits in seven innings. That's all he allowed was three hits in seven innings and did not allow an earned run in getting the win for the Mariners. And Mackenzie Milton of Central Florida. Yes, yes, we have a... We finally get something else to put besides baseball in our three stars. It's football season. Hut! who uh, passed for 346 yards with five touchdowns as UCF crushed UConn. Today's birthday shout-out goes to Larry Fitzgerald, the All-Pro Future Hall of Fame receiver for the Arizona Cardinals, who made news today by speaking at the funeral of Senator John McCain. That's how highly thought of Larry Fitzgerald is. If there's any player in the NFL right now, right now that doesn't have a ring, that you have to root for, it's Larry Fitzgerald. Class all the way. I mean, this 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 guy is what this is the symbol of what a what a NFL player should be is Larry Fitzgerald. And we take a look back to 1990. When baseball became a father and son sport, with Ken Griffey in left and Ken Griffey Jr. in center field for the Seattle Mariners. The two also got back to back hits and came around to score in the first inning. They, the, later, that year, in a few, later that year, would also hit back to back homers. So take a look back at when father and son played together in the same outfield for the Seattle Mariners, the Griffeys. Once again, we were brought to you by Allow Me To Be Frank. Listen to the podcast. It's Friday. 
We're heading into Labor Day weekend. We've got a full college football weekend. NFL preview is going to be coming out this weekend. Keep an eye on that. Keep, an, uh, keep coming to Sports Encyclopedia. And if you'd like to help Sports Encyclopedia, contact Tank at SportsEncyclopedia.com and, or, and uh, see if you want to take a shot at doing a team summary. I, I'm going to start inviting more people to help me with my website. So I can, and, and I always attribute you. One day, I hope to get enough money to pay you. If I ever like hit like ten million dollars, I'll remember you. So, guys, uh, just keep checking my website. Check my website every day. It's it, it's it's an exciting time. I'm doing NFL updates every day. NFL picks. I'm gonna try to make my tank live broadcast better. It's something I gotta. I want to make do tank live broadcast. I want to have you have a window of me actually working on my website, and maybe I can interact with fans. It's been a disaster so far, though. Oi, oi, oi. I'm fumbling it. I'm fumbling. I wish I was doing better at it. You guys deserve better. And, uh, well, hopefully I'll do better tomorrow. Good day.